Welcome back, friends. Today we will talk about what comes next after you have obtained your OSCP certification. As we all know, the Offensive Security Certified Professional is a coveted and sought after certification for cybersecurity professionals. It demonstrates a strong foundation in penetration testing and offensive security. However, as the field of cybersecurity continues to grow, so do the opportunities for professional advancement. If you've achieved your OSCP and are wondering what's next, then this video is just for you. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. One popular path you can take after OSCP is to study for more advanced certifications. For example, the OSEP or Offensive Security Experience Penetration Tester focuses on advanced penetration testing techniques, including bypassing defenses like AVs and EDRs. OSEP is the next logical step after OSCP if you are looking into a more advanced certification. If you want to specialize in web penetration testing, take a look at OSWI or Offensive Security Web Expert, which specializes in web application security and advanced exploitation. And of course, exploit development certifications are also considered as advanced certifications and can be pursued after taking OSCP. For example, the OSED or Offensive Security Exploit Developer delves into exploit development, reverse engineering, and advanced binary exploitation. In my opinion, if you are now OSCP certified and maybe you have also taken a step further and now you have OSEP or OSED under your arsenal, specializing in exploit development may be a solid plan. Exploit development dive deeper into reverse engineering, binary exploitation, and vulnerability research, and you will have to work with tools such as IDA Pro, Ghidra, and Radar2 to analyze and reverse engineer binaries. Okay, now exploit development may not be a coveted path, especially for those who don't like spending time working with programming languages. For this reason, and after OSCP, you can transition from a penetration tester into a red teamer. Red teaming is the transition from penetration testing to full-scale adversarial emulation. In red teaming, you will not only do technical penetration testing, but also physical penetration testing, where you will be planning to circumvent CCTV and bypass security guards after taking the proper authorization from your client. I would seek certifications like CRTO or Certified Red Team Operator to have a solid credentials in red teaming. Okay, now let's talk about the folks who want to seek leadership and managerial positions after gaining enough technical expertise. And of course, after taking OSCP, well, guess what? Even when seeking leadership positions, getting certified is preferable, and I strongly recommend it to increase your chances of promotion. For example, certifications such as Certified Information Security Manager, which focuses on managing and governing security programs, and also Certified Information System Security Professional are great choices to think of after obtaining OSCP. These certifications are global standards for management positions in cybersecurity, such as Chief Information Security Officer or even Chief Technology Officer. All right, now what about bug bounty? Well, I am afraid to tell you that the skills you will learn by getting OSCP certified may not be enough to start a career in bug bounty as it requires deep technical and programming knowledge. However, OSCP is a good starting point, and maybe if you add Offensive Security Exploit Developer Certification, then you may have established your baseline to start hunting for bugs in web applications and systems. Lastly, I want to talk about a one overlooked aspect after getting OSCP is gaining practical experience through hands-on projects, participating in Capture the Flag competitions, and contributing to open source security tools. These practices may not yield immediate tangible credential, but they very are recommended to further enhance one's expertise and career prospects in cybersecurity. Remember that certifications are just one component of building a career in cybersecurity. They must be supplemented by other skills and experiences. My advice is to pick a specialization and develop deep expertise in that area. This helps differentiate candidates and makes them competitive for mid-level roles. So that was it. Let me know what you think.